Isolated environments are a great way to isolate an environmental effect. You can have TrueSpace's main environment running and have multiple isolated effects at the same time. Isolated environments are created by assigning the effect to an object. Here we have two water stream environments facing each other. These objects can be keyframed to change size, move, or rotate as well. The level of effects can be keyframed too. Over time, you can make water turn into the consistency of mud, for example. This demonstration shows how a local environment has been keyframed to pass through the spheres. You can see how the sphere is reacted to it. Here's how you assign an isolated environment. Start by making a cube. Next, choose an isolated environment. That's it. Here's a quick tip. If the isolated environment is going to move or objects will be passing in and out of the area, it helps to quad divide the cube a couple of times for better accuracy. Here's a breakdown of the isolated environments. The vacuum setting creates an environment that is without an atmosphere. Think of this as the environment of the moon. Without an atmosphere, everything will fall at the same speed. The global gravity of the scene is still in effect and it's how you control the gravity. The space vacuum setting creates an environment that is just like outer space. Objects will float or spin forever. The standard air setting basically recreates the global environment settings. If you wanted to create an isolated environment with air and gravity in a global outer space environment, this would be the way to go. The air tornado setting works just like it sounds. It creates a tornado. This setting is fun for destroying objects. The water setting is great for creating the effect of water that's contained within something like a cup or a reservoir. Objects can even travel across its surface. Water stream does just like what it says. Creates a moving water environment. Good for rivers and waterfalls. You can see how the flow of the water carries the sphere along until it falls out of our local environment altogether. Now we've seen the different kinds of isolated environments. In the next chapter, we'll look at the settings for these isolated environments.